I'll demonstrate how to set up a, a network of virtual Linux guests on a Ubuntu host computer. In this case it assumes I've already set up and installed VirtualBox so you can uh, access the VirtualBox website and download for your operating system. I've already installed it for my uh, Ubuntu operating system on my computer. This also assumes that you've downloaded the, the base virtual machine which is available on the website. So I've downloaded it already. And the first thing that you need to do is I'll unpack that and um, add it to VirtualBox. So in my case I have it the base image in the directory VM. So uh, it's called base.tar.gz. I need to un unpack that. It takes uh, uh, a few seconds to do that and once that's unpacked what I'll do is add that to VirtualBox so that we my base image. Then the software VertNet uh, allows you to create nodes based upon that base image. So it's a set of scripts that will do it for us automatically. To use that software you need Subversion. So I've already installed Subversion uh, on my Ubuntu computer and the instructions are on the website for how to install it on other operating systems. So it's unpacked already. So there's a directory called base and inside there is the VirtualBox image. So now in VirtualBox I add a new machine. And I find the, the .vbox file and then that's added to VirtualBox. So now we have a base virtual machine. There's no need to start that right now. What we do next, just note that the usernames and passwords, the default uh, the user is network with the password network and the other passwords are always set to network by default. Next we need to use SVN to download some of the, the scripts that are used here. So I'll go into my home directory, make a new directory SVN and CD into that. And then what I need to use is SVN or Subversion to check out from the server, which effectively downloads the code from the server onto this computer. The URL is available on the instructions in the website. It takes a few seconds. It will eventually download all the files into this SVN directory under a subdirectory called VertNet. There they go. And we have this directory called VertNet. So now we can do a few more setup things. First we need to just set the permissions on one particular file which is used for automatic logins. So uh, this change the mode for this id underscore rsa file. Just copy and paste that command and that will set the permissions on that file. So I run that. And now I'm ready to create a virtual network. So there's some scripts which we downloaded when we used SVN which will allow us to create a, a topology that we desire. So we'll CD into the directory. So in the vertnet directory under bin host there's a set of scripts and the one we want is vn create topology bash vn create topology and then we choose a topology number there are predefined topologies available on the website uh, the example on the website is five we'll do two now which is just a simple two nodes connected together and that goes away and creates the virtual box virtual machines by copying the base so we see in virtual box it's created node one and it's setting it up, setting up the network interfaces. It takes a few minutes to do that. So it starts the virtual machine, logs in, sets the IP address and so on. And then it moves on to node 2. So this topology just has two nodes connected together. Once they're set up, they'll both be powered off. And then we can access them. And I'll use this script VN SSH to automatically start the nodes and log into them. So it's already been created, they're both powered off. Now I want to start one and log into it. Bash VN SSH node 1. That automatically starts the node and then SSH is into it. I'll do the same in another terminal for node 2. 
So enter the directory vnssh2 for node 2 and that starts node 2 and we'll log into it. Takes a while to start and then log in. We see that node 1 it's logged in so it's now on the virtual box uh, uh, virtual machine. Just to test that it's up and running I'll ping from node 1 to node 2 which has the address ending with dot 12. It pings five times and we get a delay of around one millisecond. And that's it. We've got our two nodes set up. So now let's just turn them off. Pseudo power off. Type network as the password. Node 1 is off. Do the same for node 2. Power off. And both nodes are off now. So we can do what we like with our network. When you're finished with your network you can delete those nodes. So in VirtualBox select them and select remove and important make sure you delete all files not just remove only it deletes everything and then later you can create a new one uh, a new topology as you desire based upon that base so overall the once it's set up now all you need to do is create a topology use the virtual network when you're finished with it delete the the nodes but not the base and then continue